Edge Nation, welcome back. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. This whole series about how one become the most successful security guard in America. However, this particular installment is about what do security guards wear on their duty belt? You know, what's beyond that nylon and basket weave, you feel me? I'm gonna go into detail what they have on their duty belt, but also how much it costs. Once again, stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Welcome back. All right, I have my entire duty belt set up here in the back of the truck. And this is gonna be what I wear whenever I go on post. I'm gonna go through each and every one of them and discuss what they are and the purpose of that tool or weapon. So let's start from left to right. But first off, everything's intact and on a basket weave Bianchi duty belt. And that's roughly, I think, around 45 bucks, I believe. We have the um, basket weave mag pouch. It's for, this one is for the Glock 17. In California, we can only have 10 rounds. And these are hollow points. And these run, wow, pretty penny. They really uh, rob you. Things like 25 bucks each, I think. So I have two in the pouch and one, let me pull it out here. I took it out for safety purposes, but I'll get to that in just a minute. So you have the mag pouch and you have the handcuffs in the basket weave, of course, and not just any handcuffs, people. We have the MPs, baby. Whoever tells you handcuffs are handcuffs, they're lying to you. I don't know what you're talking about. MPs. And not only do you have the regular keyhole here to unlock it, but you have the thumb lock. This is convenience when you are struggling with somebody. You don't have time to pull your keys out, people. Ruffling through your pockets. Easy to pull it out right here. Let me switch hands real quick. There we go. So, you know, right here. And then the thumb lock to lock it up. Right here is a quick clink, clink, and you're locked up. You know what I'm saying? So, that running about $35 for one set of cuffs here. And it's quality, it won't break. A lot of cheap cuffs. You will have the chain here breaking, you know, and you have this right here not being properly going through each uh, groove here. You still have to maintain cuffs, people. You have to oil them. So to keep it nice and lubricated so it doesn't lock up on you and mess up when you really, really need them. And that's not a pretty sight. It looks bad on a resume, you feel me? So that's the basket weave uh, pouch for the handcuffs, the MP handcuffs with the thumb or lever lock. Moving over in between my OC spray or gel, you have the PR24 side handle uh, holder for the baton, which is this bad boy right here, my favorite type of baton. This is very special, not just for looks. I know people reminisce about the LA riots and police and police brutality. It's a very effective weapon and tool. You use the block, hold it like this, protect your forearm. You know what I'm saying? You use it to nudge somebody back if they're being aggressive. Of course, if they intentionally and um, lay hands on you, you have right to defend yourself. You use this to push them back. You know what I'm saying? All right, put this to the side here. So you have the holder and the baton itself. Baton is not that much. I think it's like 45 bucks. The holder, um, I'm just going off memory. So descriptions below, you'll see that. That's some basket weave as well. I'm trying my very best to look pretty, but also get the top quality stuff, you know? And this investment, it may seem expensive, and it is, but you save money in the long run. By buying that cheap nylon stuff, trust me, buy it two, three times over at minimum. 
is going to cost you more than what you see here. So if you buy this initially, you're good. So you have the OC gel, not spray, people. Please do not get the spray. Get the gel. You're better off. My company, most companies, mandate only gel. Because in windy conditions, you can only use gel. And if you spray, it's like, it's like blowing air freshener. If you blow it, it's going to blow black at you. If you blow it upwind. So you have, do a little test here. See how it stays intact? See? So, that's good there. Also, this will cost you, I think, 18, 19 bucks, and this is all on Amazon. Most of these products can be purchased on Amazon, except for the baton, because you need special permits for that. Um, so this is um, prime prices as well. So 18 and some odd cents. The holder, I think, is more expensive than the actual weapon itself. Things like 26 bucks. Moving on to the flashlight. And don't short yourself out of any of these weapons here and these tools. This flashlight is about 80 bucks. It's a Streamlight Protac HL3. In my previous video, I did a short demo on this. It was primarily for my um, optimized weapon light for my AR, but I did feature this to tell the difference between a flashlight for patrols and also a weapon light. Check out the video before to find more detail on that. And of course, this is the holder. As basket weave as possible, they don't come with basket weave. It has a firm, secure holding here. Yet and still, it does match the ambiance before you. Moving over, you have the duty belt, which is also in basket weave. You should have at least four of these to hold your belt up, as this entire setup does weigh a lot, especially through an eight, 10 hour, or 12 hour shift, how long, however long you're at that post. This is approximately, I think, to what, 10 to 15 pounds. So you put your regular belt, which goes through the hoops of your pants, your, around your waist, and you grab one of these bad boys, and you put it under your belt and around also your duty belt as well. Then you secure it, snap it secure, so your belt doesn't fall off and embarrass everybody. You know what I'm saying, while you're on post. So you need four of those, I think they're about 13 bucks, come in a four pack. The selection that I bought off of uh, Amazon some years ago is still there, still going strong. Shows and is a testament to the quality. Moving over, I have my retractable baton. This one ran about 40 bucks. You can have this unless you have a tool or me a permit. So make sure that you um, take the class there so you can legally acquire these. You don't want to be caught with this in California. It is a felony if you're caught with this without a permit, okay? Um, I have a holder here. It's very convenient. Now, I have both of these because I'm at higher risk sites. Even when I'm unarmed, you want to have your backup. Unless you're watching paint dry, you will need this. It's always best to have what you need for your post, understand your post, understand the area. And once you've been through circumstances and scenarios, you will see a need for everything you see before here. This is how to become a successful security guard. We're not just trying to get our foot in the door, people. We're trying to blast open that door and build our own room in that chateau, you know what I'm saying? So, moving over here, second pair of handcuffs. And yes, once again, if you're at sites that are truly truly high risk you'll need more than one handcuff it's always best to always have more than one people are big and need to have more than one handcuff to properly arrest them and yes security guards have the power to arrest now it's technically really and legally a civilian uh arrest but you still have handcuffs on you you take a power to arrest course in your guard car class and yes there come times where yes you will have to put handcuffs somebody so whether you want to call it detain, arrest, or civilian arrest, it is what it is. Cuffs are cuffs. The person in cuffs feels the same way, no matter who puts them in cuffs, okay? All right, so moving on to the uh, firearm here. This is Safari Land level, not one, not two, but three, level three holster, meaning it has three levels of retention. Retention meaning we don't want somebody to come up there and just take your junk, you know what I'm saying? So three levels of retention on this one, is the visual and actual retention, which is the hood here. Now, if I had this on properly, it'd be easier to demonstrate, but nonetheless, we will get through this by any means necessary. So, over here, let me 
try to get focus a little bit. All right, so you have to push this down and forward. I would do this with my thumb. Then there's a little lever here. You will pull back. So I'll pull back like this, and it will come up. This is a Glock 17. It is secure. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking of Magwell. Got one hand here. Work with me, people. That'll run you a pretty penny. Not too much, considering it is indeed something that's going to save your life. So I'm going to put that back in here. Oops. I'll put that back right there. And last but not least, we have the bullet resistant, not proof. Nothing is bulletproof. If you don't believe me, try blowing yourself with the bullet with that on. See how you feel. You know what I'm saying? This is a bullet resistant, meaning it will stop it from penetrating and depending on the condition of your vest here. So once again, this entire setup ran me almost $2,000. All right, so this setup, it's something for a high level caliber officer. So you have the first level, you have the unarmed, you know, basic handcuff and pepper gel on your duty belt for the most part in flashlight. Then you move up with the baton in addition to that setup. Then you have the armed individual. Now you should always have a bullet resistant vest to go along with your firearm, but that's not always the case. This stuff gets expensive. So once you become armed, then you can acquire the other half of that, which is the bullet resistant vest with the plates that go with it. I chose soft armor. It's concealable. It's more accepting to armed and unarmed sights. They have the exterior plates. Uh, it's kind of overkill unless you're at maybe a cannabis club or a very high risk location. Then you have to take into consideration the practicality of the weight, maneuverability of your gear. So with all that said and done, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for notifications so you can be updated with the latest and greatest of information. Edge Nation, Citizen Edge, and I'm out.